<laughs> hey, how you guys doing, man? It's Joe D, and welcome to Share Beer 553. No, 593. Woo. I'd be cutting myself 40 episodes short. No. Welcome to episode 593. And 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 what did I call the show? Do you clean your belly button, or did you clean your or how how often? Yeah, what do I what did I name this title? Uh, do you clean your, your belly button? button. Yeah. yeah, do you clean your belly button? You know, so we'll do a belly button check here in a while. Okay. See who cleans and how often they clean. How often should you clean your belly mm -hmm. button? Is your you know how neglected is your belly button? <laughs> this is hard hitting stuff right here, man. You know. And then I and then I kind of want to talk about uh, oh I'm sorry today is Saturday February 20th happy birthday mom happy birthday today hey, is hey right. happy birthday mom yeah happy birthday heck yeah today's my mom's birthday so very happy cool. yeah a little salute if you have some in your glass to to my <laughs> mom <laughs> yeah. I blame her for everything so all you malt mm -hmm. liquor sons of guns. You blame everything on that lady, you know, yeah. what I'm saying? because right because it, you know, Mark, would you agree? If I was five and I was misbehaving, wouldn't you blame my mom for it? Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta so you gotta control difference? your child. Your child's out of control. And what's the right, Coach? What's the difference? No, I, you're 100 percent right. Whether, I mean, whether yeah. you're five or ten I'm times old. that amount, <laughs> yeah. I still sometimes act like I'm five. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, I can still blame her. I think it's fair. Yeah. You know, it's mom's fault. It could possibly be my fault. How could it be my fault? Yeah. You know, right, bum? I mean, it, you know, you know, it's got to be her fault, right? All the, yeah, you know, I gotta blame her. It's never her. anybody's fault these days. It's always somebody else. <laughs> yeah. It's true. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Personal responsibility. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything wrong. I made a mistake. Yeah. I think they took that word out of the out of the dictionary, I think. Personal yeah. responsibility. Does somebody say steak? Steak, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I heard, right? Steak. Yeah. Medium, right? Medium um yeah, the steak, steak. yeah. Hey, yeah. where's my steak? Where's my steak? Yeah. Yeah, somebody <laughs> made a medium steak somewhere. What? 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 Yeah. So welcome, guys, to another Share Beer show. Here we are. And we'll be talking about belly buttons. We'll be talking about Mars. Yeah. Right? Kind of a mm -hmm. cool thing happened this week. Uh, we landed on Mars. And um, also, uh, I don't know, half the country's covered in snow. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of all over the place. So, you know, we'll cover these things in matter of importance. And I think belly buttons are way more important than yeah, Mars. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. You know. Right, so I have a beer, local beers, Tombstone Brewing, right here. Bam! It's on the growler. This is a thirty-two ounce mm. growler. Some people in some states can only get this. Site, <gasps> right? Can every state now get a uh, the sixty-four ounce? I have no idea. I would think so, as long as it's not above a certain ABV. I would say yes. It wasn't too long that I think was it was it you, Mark, in Georgia, or was it Florida that could only get thirty-two ounce growlers? Ah, uh, well, we can do sixty-four ounce. I think it might have been Florida. It's either Florida, Alabama, or Mississippi. I mean, that's yeah, basically, it was, you know, it's one of those three states. One of the southern states. No, it, 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 it was somebody recently, right? It wasn't too yeah. long ago. Yeah. Or is it just we're old guys and we think it was recently and it was 10 years ago? Who well, knows? Yeah, I mean, anything that, in the last 20 years is recent. <laughs> the like irony that. is all the bootlegging states is mm -hmm. what you just mentioned. Oh, yeah. yeah, all the southern yeah. states that are trying to control your you know, alcohol consumption because it's not good for you. There's the ones that did all the bootlegging. Yeah, 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 yeah it's it's but we're making moonshine that can uh propel a jet into space. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, can't have your beer above four and a half percent. Can't have your beer above four and a half percent, and you can't have it more than thirty-two ounces. You can't have it on Sunday, and you can't have it on Sunday, yeah. and uh, you can't have it in six packs or anything like that until recently either. Even even in a Yankee state like uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Pennsylvania was <laughs> relatively 
That's only the last few years, right, Bob? Yeah, as far as uh, most places, like beer yeah. distributors, not having to buy, not having to buy a case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like there, there, there always have been places like bars and stuff, and specialty yeah. stores where you could. But those places were, uh, especially 20 years ago, few and far between. Yeah, and super expensive, too. Yeah. yeah. That was the oddest thing to me. No, you can't buy a six-pack. You have to get a case. Yeah. Well, you what? could buy you could buy six packs from bars and stuff. You could always do that, but not yeah. re, not retail in, in yeah. those cases. <laughs> it's ass backwards. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? You know? So... <laughs> Yeah, I am having a tombstone. Let me let me go back a few pages in my uh, app here. Uh, this is the tombstone. Uh, oh my god! I, this is their uh, imperial coffee stout. Yeah, super thick, super rich. Uh, smells of fresh coffee beans. It, it's absolutely phenomenal. Oh. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal. Nom, 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 nom. It, gets, it looks delicious. It gets better and better as, as it actually does warm up. It's mm -hmm. it, it's better and better. It's it's really, really good. So uh yeah, fantastic. And and uh yeah, bum you having anything or are you gonna save that for right before the malt liquor report? I can I can show you what I'm gonna have later on if you want. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna try it now, I'm gonna wait. I just bought these today from Rusty Rail Crunchbot Caramel Peanut Imperial Brown Ale. Oh, wow. Wow. I, uh, I love Rusty Rail. They make good stuff. They got great can artwork, and they always toast your check-ins when you check them in on Untapped. Oh, okay, cool. I love that. Yeah. That's so that's good. the Crunchbot Crunchy. Crunchbot Caramel oh, yeah. Peanut Imperial yeah. Brown Ale. We got it. Go. Okay. 243 and 243 in the last 30 as well. Uh, classified as a brown ale, uh, 8%, <clears throat> 15 a uh, IBUs, and a 4.17 bottle cap rating. Oh, wow. I think I made a good decision buying a four pack of that. Yeah. When was the last time Bum had a four bottle cap beer? I've had I, every now and then. I've had one. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Every now, and then, but I'm saying, when was the last time? It's been a yeah, while. it's been a while. <laughs> I mean, you've gone through quite a few ones and twos. To yeah, get yeah. Hey, we we all can't be Teen Wolf. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we all cannot be Teen Wolf. Huge peanut and caramel aroma. Sweet layers of caramel and vanilla. Slightly boozy. This is actually Bum's words right here. Slightly boozy notes with a nutty finish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean it's exactly it sounds like him describing those, those are my words. So what later on when I try it, you don't have to ask me how it tastes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just go to untapped. Just go right to untapped, of course. Yeah. But yeah, it is great artwork. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like how they have the uh what is that? Possibly peanuts coming at the robot. It's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, fantastic looking beer. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's cool, man. Rusty Rail makes a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. They're, they're one of my they're one of my uh, newer favorites over the last year or so. Awesome, man. And and coach, what are you having, brother? Um, well, I just cleansed my palate with some uh, macro stuff here, and then we're gonna open up this. Uh, Founders Breakfast Stout. You guys have had that. Oh, yeah, the one made of fresh babies. Yes, fresh, fresh babies. Squeezed babies. Yes, fresh squeezed babies. Fresh squeezed babies. Yeah. We haven't looked so. up Founders in quite some time, so. Yeah. 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 Another 4.13 bottle cap beer. 751, mm -hmm. basically 752,000. Yeah. 2,000 in the last 30. Yeah. 8.3, 60 IBUs, and again, 4.13. Solid stuff. The yeah. Coffee Lover's Consummate Beer. Brewed with babies. I mean, brewed with an abundance of, of flaked oats, bitter, and imported chocolates, and Sumatra and Kona coffee. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you getting out of that one, Coach? What do you think? Man? I've had this 100 times. Same thing, just the real coffee, the mild booziness. 
Yeah. But it's the sweetness that pulls it all back together. It's just a solid brew. Solid, solid brew. And I'm sure you guys have had this, have you not? Oh, yeah. 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 It's been quite a solid beer. Yeah, it's been quite some time for myself. That I I actually do need to revisit that. And, and, and hell, I was in the beer store today and I was thinking about it. I didn't yeah. know. Didn't yeah. know. They've got good distribution on it. That's pretty much anywhere Founders is. That, that's their, that's got to be one of their all time be best beers. I mean, most popular beers. Most popular, it's, yeah. It's solid. I mean, I, it's not something that <clears throat> you'll find me drinking every weekend, but when you haven't had it for a month, heck yeah. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. a spot. Good stuff, especially in the winter. A good yeah. One to do, for oh, sure. yeah. And, and Mark, what do you have, brother? Um, just opened up this Boulevard Chocolate Ale. Ooh, I'm looking at that one today. Limited release, and it's an ale, not a stout. So the color, oh, like an ale, like an amber ale color, but it is definitely chocolatey and chocolate and vanilla, very very prominent. It's not sweet. It's kind of it's slightly sweet, but it's it is just real full chocolate and vanilla. But it's a little a little because most of the time when you think of chocolate, you think of a stout, and this is yeah. definitely nailed. So this is eight point seven percent, and I'm having it with some with some brownies. So it does go really good with brownies. Oh, yeah, that's that's. <clears throat> It's it's interesting too because I like beers that kind of mess with you a little bit like that, like they you know mm -hmm. that you know that you, you just expect a stout or brown ale mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, it says ale brewed with cocoa nibs and vanilla extract. And this is they have it on on Untapped as a brown uh, strong ale. I'm sorry. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the 2021 version. This is a 2021. Oh, this I just checked into. Um, they have it as a spiced herb beer, oh. but um, it's a good one. It was a four pack. I think the four pack was ten ninety nine or something like that. Maybe so. that's not bad. Not terrible. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's a, it's a good, I mean, it's a specialty beer. Yeah. It's it's lighter bodied. I mean, it's not heavy bodied like a stout. Um, so it's lighter. It's like an amber ale. I mean, that that kind of body yeah. but instead of the amber you know the malts that type of stuff you're getting a chocolate and a vanilla so so you got 867 total 719 in the last 30 8.7 percent abvs 11 ibus yep 3.75 bottle caps i gave it a four i gave yeah. it a four so I, I like the way they list everything here too so you get a clear a clear look at the at the mm -hmm. malt the hops and the adjuncts, hey, you know, mm -hmm. here, you know, here's, yeah, I, I like the way they did that. Here's straight mm -hmm. up. Here's what we're putting in our beer. Yeah. Um, and, and cocoa nibs and vanilla are, that's adjuncts. That's not part of the the four, the four, you know, four ingredients. Four, no, you know, was, and rice no, and rice or whatever that thing is. Yeah. Since you're having Boulevard, you know, that brings up another another question, right? Boulevard was part of that. That's that little bit of a scandal i don't know how much you guys heard about that mm -hmm. but uh do we like boulevard anymore is boulevard mm -hmm. are we supposed to uh it's not the beer that's that's just that's a dumbass individual in the beer company it's not the beer, it's uh, not the beer. No. and yeah. and founders as well founders has had their uh mm -hmm. their, yeah. their stuff hey yeah. bum leave my beer alone <laughs> you're don't, you guys beer, have, beer. you guys are canceled yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah that, anymore? When that stuff happened with Boulevard, I was like, "Oh man, come on!" Uh, Boulevard brews some of the best beers. I mean, yeah. no, it just, it's just a, it's just an, it's a, it's a personnel problem. It's not the beer company's fault. Yeah. And and even in that case, it, it's just a you know just a, just a poor taste in words, man. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. not necessarily like. Yeah. Just a poor taste in, in, in... It's not like Founders where they kill babies and put it in the beer. I mean, come on. Right. Okay, that's it. Can you... Joe, this guy drinks malt liquor, and this guy, I don't know what his problem is. Can you mute them? Yeah, mute them. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, I don't know that we've ever gone to Boulevard's site. Um, I like that it's, that it's a simple yes or no on 21. Good. Um It'd be kind of cool to go through some of their beers. We've I don't know that we've ever done this. Um, 
the, the more we were talking about it. They, they have so much seasonal specialty mm-hmm. stuff. Look at all this uh, stuff they have. It, it'd be kind of cool to go, okay, so here's some of their year-round stuff. Okay, or you can get these beers anytime. Unfiltered wheat, the berry noir, which a sour mm-hmm. ale with mixed berries. That sounds good. I don't think I've had that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Rowley Ale, this is their easy sport. Um, Jam Band, which is a berry ale. I saw that one today. I didn't buy it. Uh, their Kansas City Pills. Uh, mm-hmm. They are out of Kansas. So um, mm-hmm. their Pale Ale, which is their original. A single wide IPA. It's a good uh, IPA. Cosmic IPA, the Space Camper. Uh, steel, uh, steep drop, my bad, uh, which is a nitro cold brew milk stout. Ooh, that looks good. That's year round, yeah. Man, See, there's a lot of that stuff that we, I haven't seen here, so it's obviously just distributed here in probably the Midwest. And then you I visited to- their brewery a couple months ago, mm-hmm. uh, and they probably had 20 to 25 unique beers that I've never seen just on tap. Yeah. In addition to all their other lineup, okay, it, it, you know it, it. It's pretty darn cool, man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, so here's their seasonal stuff. You've got their unfiltered dry hopped wheat. Mm-hmm. That's got to be good. Mm-hmm. Um, their bully porter, which is a robust American porter. Uh, their co- early riser is their coffee porter. Uh, Giga hop, same camper. Yep. Must be a different variant on that on that one their oh, irish yeah. ale i've never had that yeah. uh it's snow hell okay probably out right now i bet <laughs> uh the tart apple rattler mm. it's just beer Ooh. brewed with that's apple a good summer beer. And lemon mm-hmm. now that's a lawnmower beer yep that's a phoenix beer there uh the the strata citra ipa that's a mm-hmm. tasting room sort of thing. That one sounds pretty doggone interesting. Mm-hmm. And that's it for that. Now, this is the one right here. I did, I, hell, I think this is the one I picked up today. The yep. Barrel-Age Quad. Well, you, had the, you had the, the cuvee. At, oh, Thank the cuvee. You. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So the Whiskey Barrel Stout, which is a barrel-aged Imperial Stout. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bourbon Barrel Quad. That's a good one. Um. Dark truth, Dark truth. Mm, that's that's delicious. Tank seven American saison, mm-hmm. the calling IPA, a double IPA, mm-hmm. the six glass quad. Yep. That's one of the best quads out there, I think. Is a yes, six yes. glass. Mm-hmm. Whoo! And then their limited release stuff. I mean, like like Ruben mm-hmm. was saying. I mean, it just goes on and on. Mm-hmm. The brandy land spice imperial stout aged in April brandy barrels. Oh, sounds awesome! You're killing me. Here's that chocolate ale. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, deep flux, a barley wine. Ooh. <laughs> that's got to be good. Ale aged in rye whiskey and what is this Madero wine casks? Mm. Mm-hmm. So oh, was geez. Ruben able to get a, fl- a flat of beer it's when you were out there? That's what three. Yeah. <laughs> I got. I got a flight. Whenever I was there, and they were all Is like, "Is it flight or flat?" My bad, flight. Flight. It's a flight. flight. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I got a flight when I was there, and they were all like fifteen percent plus ABV. So I had four samples, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. Flying start. Uh, it's it's a non-alcoholic IPA. Hmm. A lot it's of part of um, out with non-alcoholics. Yeah, isn't Boulevard yeah. part of uh, Duval? Duval bought. Um, Oh. Um, oh, my gang. They, have, oh, my gang. they bought Boulevard and they bought a couple other breweries in the U.S. like four or five years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah they're yeah. part of that Duval group with, out yeah, of Belgium. It's a smaller group. It's a smaller group, but yeah. No, yeah, well, Duval is a huge, a, a, a lot of beer in Europe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. But the, apparently they've, they've left them pretty much to do their own thing. Mm hmm. They haven't really changed. Uh, and then you have that Manhattan Social Club, which I've had. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Smooth Fuzz Peach Tower. Oh man, I mean, j- just a phenomenal brewery, man. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah. Cool yeah lots, lots of what do you have in there, Ruben? 
This is called uh, Little Sticky from Junkyard Brewing. It's a marshmallow strawberry peach sour. It's delicious. Marshmallow strawberry peach. Oh, so is it really sour or is it? No, it's sweeter than it is sour. Okay, I was going to say the marshmallow will probably take care of the sour. Look at that. Thing. Show us Look that, that glass, man. Look yeah, at it that. looks like uh, melted sherbet if you were in person. It does. It does, yeah. Kind of tastes like it too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I would think that. Yeah, the marshmallow in there would kind of give it like an orange sherbet. Yeah, seven hundred ninety-three total, seventy-five in the last thirty. Uh, classified as a fruited sour, five point eight, and a four one four. Solid. Super. It's, it's solid. Really good. That, sounds, that sounds pretty good. That sounds loaded really good with ridiculous amounts of blackberry. Peach, marshmallow, and just a touch of lactose. This smoothie sour was fermented with a new to us Nordic farmhouse ale yeast called what is that? Kevik or Vec? Is the K silent? Uh, look for a bright, full fruit profile, uh, smooth, pulpy uh, mouth, well, mouthfeel, and a subtle bready finish. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's, the, the can's really cool, too. It looks like it's a crowler, but it's actually a 750-ounce can. Or 750 milliliter, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. So it's a 20 so kind of a, a unique like can. I've, I've never really had one like that. It's like a, it's like a giant Foster's can, like an oil yeah. can type of thing. Okay. I, I, can already see, I can already see some stuff happening here. Huh, bum? I, I think some malt liquor guys are going to gonna compare the, the fatness of this teddy bear to somebody here. Well, uh, Vega already <laughs> Vega already said that he's currently smoking a little sticky. <laughs> <laughs> the car didn't have marshmallows in it either. I'm sure. Yeah, it probably. Yeah, no. Nah, nah, yeah, 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 he he wasn't gonna waste time with with marshmallows. On on here though, it says marshmallow strawberry peach sour. Yeah, that's that's what I'm having. Mm, so, that's marshmallow it. strawberry peach. Somebody oh, look at, oh yeah. See that all kind of goes together. You got Bojack Horseman. With, uh, <laughs> I don't know what, what what is this soup he's having here. This uh, I don't know. It's uh, you know. So yeah, that that all kind of goes together. That that's that's that's, yeah, that's a, pretty good. But uh, that yeah, that good. that sounds phenomenal. That sounds man. tasty. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it really sounds good. Yeah, Ruben oh. always has solid beers. So Adam is saying pronounced uh, pronounced as Kivik. KVK. KVK? Yeah. Oh, KVK. KVK. Okay. KVK. Oh, okay. KVK. It's the Viking yeast I mentioned. Yeah, he did. If you drink a beer brewed with that, do you just like want to get on a boat and go across some water and burn <laughs> it right in the village? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah I think you need to. I, I think I do feel like getting on a boat and going to the UK and burning stuff. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ain't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> Look out, Mersey. We're coming. Yeah, we're coming for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if if you see, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, bald fat guys in a pencil neck on a boat <laughs> with a torch, then you, you know yeah. what's coming. Put right? the women and children in a safe place and get ready for battle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he said no. Joe was right on his first communication. Oh. So so I had it right. Oh. So key key VK. Key VK. No, that's what me and Bum said. You said Yeah, you said key Vik. Yeah. Kivik. You said Kavik. Kavik? Yeah. Kavik. Kavik. Okay, enough of that. We're done. What do you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you can only go on and on so much. Yeah. What What does uh, Billy D think about all this stuff? You know. Yeah, I wonder if Billy D was ever a Viking. Yeah, did, you know, does, does Billy D think we should go? Uh, you know, battle uh, the UK, jump on a boat. Well, Billy D's never needed to rape and pillage. He just has uh, he has his Colt forty five. That works every time. <laughs> work 
every time. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know how many times on here we've said, boy, tonight has the potential to be the greatest <laughs> salt liquor report ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this week is not one of those weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just, <laughs> oh, thinking, just like, wasn't it the week before last when we did have the greatest? Yeah, we had a great one. Well, yeah. Uh, we're going to suffer this week because of that. I mean, we got almost nothing. Oh, wow. Yeah, was, it, was, it, was so, it, it was so bad we uh, actually actually considered showing uh, Mr. and Mrs. McStud, but we're not going to do that. Oh, we didn't have uh, to get to that level. We yeah. Okay. Um, we don't have a whole lot. So, oh, and before we get to not a whole lot, got to break out this week's malt liquor. <laughs> not a whole lot. We do, we do have that. Speaking of not a whole lot, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll yeah. tell you what. Did 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 the the slowdown in snow? You know, because of the snow, like did that hold back malt liquor from getting to? Uh, it might have because Jay Vega said he got almost walloped off the flat Earth this week, and uh, obviously the Texas people. We didn't hear from Shady Malt Shadows or anybody, so uh, we briefly heard from uh, Mister Some Drunk, uh, briefly, but uh, that may have played a role in it. So in, in the in the chairman, what happened with the chair? Oh no, the chair the chairman made videos all week, but nothing nothing much noteworthy. We are going to play something from his saucy new Sa saucy Saturday upload today. Oh okay, yeah, because we have to. Yeah. Know, oh no, it. no, the chairman went strong all week. Okay. Uh, on his two YouTube channels and via um, Rumble. 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 Yeah. Okay. So right. here is this week's malt liquor variation. 22-ounce bottle of Old English. And I'll Ooh. tell you what, I have never looked so forward to your basic malt liquor ah! as much as I am right now after having that 4-0 last week. Oh, oh this, yeah. this is going to taste like Dom Perignon compared to that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, uh, so, yeah, that's uh, a lot of that stuff in my list. So we've got all English and a 22 ouncer. A 22 ounce bomber of uh, a bomber of old English. That's yeah. a bomber of old English right there. And <laughs> uh, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, how how does that does that beer taste like? Is that uh, You know, I'm, does, I'm waiting for the comparison. Like the inside of your belly button? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But did it taste like that? Like the, 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 the like the inside. It, uh, of the this when when I drink this, I swallow and I'm and I'm like, wow, this really sucks. But with that 4-0, I could barely swallow it. <laughs> God, you sound like my it prom really date. Sucks less. Yeah. 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 So it, it's it's it, a little easier to swallow than than coach's prom date. Yes. Yeah. So we'll let that rest there with the label out. And that's that and and, and yeah, I'll 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 skip coach's prompt. <laughs> I was gonna go farther with that, but then I was like, no, I'd be she definitely chewed before she swallowed those. So that was <laughs> holy cow, cottage cheese anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So what does Billy D have for us this week, man? So our the main feud still continues with the chairman oh. and 209 Jay Jones. That has continued all week. Wow. So we're just going to focus on those two this week. And in the case of 209 Jay Jones, we're going to show a vintage video of his. Oh, okay. Yeah, we um, but we will start with uh, uh, one of the newest malt liquor videos, the chairman today, his Saucy Saturday review today. There's the link, Joe. And today he tries Hickory Bottom barbecue sauce. Um, oh, go to four minutes forty five seconds here. And four minutes forty five. Do, 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 do. Back to fucking business. Saucy Saturday. Oh wait a minute! We're doing something different with the money today. We are we are now vertically stacking the money. Yeah, yeah. Look at that! After years of horizontal stacking, he's got uh -huh. 
You got to make less look like more. That's so. true. That is true. And and why haven't we progressed to the new spicy McNuggets? Is my question. They're they yeah. are limited release. Um, you know they they're only going to have them for a limited time. Um, and we're still eating plain. Well, that will affect the taste of the sauce. You have to have plain. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Good. That that's why we asked the, the integrity of the review. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Okay, that is true. You're right. All right. What with uh, an American original? Whoa! Look at barbecue. Sound it out. Sound, it sound, uh, uh, Sweet uh, barbecue sound sauce. it out. Look at this. See, I, I like the way he's. You know, the fucking schoolgirl. See. Anyway, back to fucking business. Yeah. So it's Saucy Saturday. What with uh, an American original? See, it's got a barbecue bar, bar, hickory bar, bar, bottom. Bar. See, sweet barbecue sauce. Good job! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh oh. 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 Whoops. No charge. What the? Give my barbecue sauce. Oh, he got the cap oh. off. All right. Let's see what we got here. Going in. Going in. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. Now, can you see the top of this one? This one has a little squirt thing still on it. Do you see that? So it's not an open cap. So there's no real danger, I think. Of... Oh, no. It's an open bottle. Oh, it is an open bottle. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now that I see. Okay, I stand corrected. That that's why we have a real journalist in here. See? Oh, it is. Look at that. Yep, I read it wrong. Oh, and I just noticed the new uh logo hole. He the, said, yeah, he said that he got a new laptop, and that uh, causes that little thing in the yeah. And a modica. Huh. Oh boy. Wait for it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Whoa. Whoa. Now now, coach, how does that compare to your prom date? Was that uh did that well, go the same way? I'm stuck on the DVDs underneath the cache. If you look closely, oh, yeah. uh one of the videos says how to be a man 101. It, the bottom <laughs> one, and so right there, yeah. How to be a man 101. So, I'm, I'm I apologize, I'm fascinated with that. I mean, I could teach him, but yeah, I mean, like Miyagi and Daniel's son, he's got to be a good student, he's got to be a good student. And I don't know, can he really afford it? Do you think? I mean, there's a lack of money there, you know. It's, yeah, I mean, he's not going to pay me all ones. I'm not his sister, I'm not the stripper, so yeah, it's just not going to work out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the concentration. Yeah. Wow. I want to see what he thinks of the sauce. What do we got? Yeah. What do we got? Got Reggie heads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no drippings on the Adidas. All right, we're waiting. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, right off the bat. Complete fucking trash. <laughs> It'll get dumped down right after I came up and get totally shit based and review a fucking sauce. <laughs> Yeah, so that one doesn't sound like it made it. That one. Doesn't. Yeah. So you can jump ahead to seven twenty-five. All right, seven twenty-five. It's got to be one of the worst. Oh. And if I don't know the twenty-eight, maybe thirty barbecue sauces or any type of sauces. That I've done. My God, good God! <laughs> Hickory bottom. Ooh. 
figures. The Which? founder of the source is a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this guy. He's fucking trash. <laughs> oh my god. Down in the fucking toilet. <laughs> So, so what does he say he does with all these sauces? I mean, you you know what he said a week or so ago. He did purge some of them. He he some of them, some of the lower ranked ones, including the Yingling one, uh, ended up uh, getting pitched. But oh. he's he's held on to a lot of the best ones though. Yeah, that that one it actually did sound pretty good. That he was uh, that reviewed that one time. I, I forget the name of it now, but. The cattleman. That's the one that he. Yeah. That's the one he can't keep off his white uh, Adidas jacket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the cattleman. That one sounded actually really good. Actually, I purchased some cattleman's. And did you like it? Yeah, I thought it was good. Um, yeah, it, it actually, he made it sound pretty decent. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was. I went to a different Walmart, and there was cattleman's right in front of me. Actually, uh, maybe one of these weeks we'll. Maybe we'll do a little taste challenge. I, I hate to admit this. I have now purchased four chairman approved barbecue sauces. Over the last oh time. boy, here we go. Four, four of his highest rated ones. And uh, well, bum, I can give him a milk stout that he'll enjoy. <laughs> Just saying. So, yeah. so, so do you, what is it? Four Reggie heads and above, or what, what, what is the, what qualifies as the highly rated? Well, he, he's done away with the Reggie Reggie head rating. He just now says whether or not he would buy it. Okay, all right, okay, yeah. But so uh, no more Reggie heads. When when did that happen? That should have been news. Uh, numerous weeks ago. Numerous weeks oh. ago. But uh, yeah, one of the one of these weeks we'll break out some of those some of those barbecue sauces or any types of sauce or any type uh, of sauce. So he has a, one more little bit uh, uh, to say at the end here, and. I'm going to set this up before we get to it. Uh, he obviously, uh, he, him and the P. Glenn have been going back and forth lately also. And the chairman has made an offer to the P. Glenn. He said he will quit trolling the P. Glenn if the P. Glenn on video says the chairman, Steel Worldwide, Steel Worldwide 2, and Steel Worldwide via Rumble is the troll of trolls. He said, and now when somebody says that they will stop doing something, what is the term for that? Uh, cease and what? Desist. Yes. Desist. Okay. Just keep that in mind when we watch here. So, uh, <laughs> so go to 17 minutes, 35 seconds. Okay. Okay. Something says it's not said quite like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, 1735. Five. Okay. You can't do it because I broke fucking YouTube. <clears throat> so yeah, Piss Glenn, here's the deal. Okay. Folks. Here's the deal. You came up. You say Steel World Wide, Steel World Wide 2. No Steel World Wide via Rumble is not a weak troll. I'm the troll of trolls. That's all you gotta do. And I will cease. And dismiss. Dismiss. <laughs> I'm, I'm the troll of trolls. What you gotta do. And I will cease and dismiss. What you gotta do. And I will cease and dismiss. Yeah. And just, he has, it's uh, obvious. I mean, it's so obvious. Don't you guys see it? He hasn't watched enough Perry Mason. Yeah, he, he has a uh, <laughs> Laugh. I object. I object. I object. Yeah, that's overruled. A cease and dismiss. What is that? What What is that? I have no he idea. invented something new. Wow. A cease and dismiss. That's the malt, that's uh, the malt, that's the malt talking. Yeah, Ruben. How How much more evidence do we need of the malt uh, having these sorts of effects on on a human brain, or is this still a human brain at this point? <laughs> Sounds like a troll brain to me. It, it, it says he's a troll. The ultimate yeah, troll. He looks like a troll. He looks like a troll. And I think he's under a bridge right now. So this might be... <laughs> this might be true. This might... 
you know, this might be confirmed here. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Cease and dismiss. Okay. A cease and dismiss. Is that a legal term? <laughs> Should we Google that? Yeah. <laughs> We've got another. <laughs> I would hate to see what that would come up with. So we've got another link here. Yeah. yeah so uh, as we get to this one, we're going to go to 209 Jay Jones, but this is uh, something different. Now, we always call him the malt liquor referee, yep. but you guys have never seen him as the malt liquor referee in action, actually. So we are going to go back five years. This is over five years old. Oh, and this is a 40 pounds heavier 209 J Jones. Now I'll set this up and uh, you can uh, uh, play it from the beginning, Joan. You might be able to skip uh, here and there ahead. I have no specific times written down. This is 209 J Jones making a decision on, I guess this was a uh, live Google Hangout. Uh, and that person on the big screen there is the big Grabowski. That's the one they call Kuntbowski. He's doing an 800 club chug off with the malt minister to see who can chug two 40 ounce bottles the quickest. So, <laughs> so the ref is pointing out all the discrepancies with uh, Kuntbowski in this video here. So, is this like duct tape and 40? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yeah. So, Got a free jersey on. You know what time it is? People, it's halftime. I got to throw this shit together real quick. Packer game's on right away. Right. That's <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> There's the flag. <laughs> I know everyone's been waiting a long time. You got to excuse the fucking sexy ass voice. This is my love jams late night. Oh, I'm calling that dedication for your oh. little bitch because you're overseas and you know I'm missing my baby. I want to send out a love jam. This is a very white voice. Oh, is he trying to outvoice me? Am I being outvoiced right now? But after I I take this malt liquor in right now. My voice won't be back to normal. Maybe I was sucking too much dick. You never know. Well, he was what? Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's a very white voice. But after I, I take this malt liquor in right now, my voice won't be back to normal. Maybe I'm sucking too much dick. You He's a know. what? But this is where we're at. Make sure this motherfucker's recording. Start a show, as always. Joe, let me chime in. Wow. He is what? clearly part of the MLDC. Clearly. Clearly. Wow. He, hey, he, he likes baloney boats. That's good, but I always knew that. Boats. Yeah. There's a hole in that mask for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We don't have King Cobra right right here, people. What we have dirt nap turn off is it'll be over 10 minutes. Fuck, I gotta hurry up. What we got right here, people, is a cheating bitch. Oh. I enjoy this motherfucker. Even though he's a cunt, I enjoy him. He talks a lot of shit. But cheating, I just can't stand cheating. Yeah. Cheater. Especially when other people's channels are involved. I wish you would just say he's a cheater. How he fooled the public. How you stupid motherfuckers. Yeah. Can't tell this motherfucker's cheating. Yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, you sure motherfuckers it. hung up fucking Kramer for cheating, liquid all star for cheating, dumping shit out. And he's still got a Christmas tree up. Yeah. But you guys support this fucking cocksucker. Wait a minute. But I thought so there's a second one of these. <laughs> I wanted to get this in before he shut his video down. I seen he made a fucking video today. Goodbye, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look, people. Listen to me, motherfucker. Shout out to the fucking weasel. And I suppose this cunt just gave Earnshaw's address out. What a stupid cunt. Supposedly. Shout out to Nick Gutted. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Met. Shout out to Coleslaw. Mr. Met was in this live stream five years ago. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Remember, oh. remember I said Mr. Met has had a few uh, transgressions over the years where he's yeah. got it. That's one I forgot about appearing on a Google Hangout. Yeah. 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 The chairman called him out on that one at the time. Yeah. Yeah. There it is right there on video. Yeah. Number one stalker, this guy right here. Shout out to Chili Palmer. This guy. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, we have a third one. What, what is is that the referee that he's doing? He's, he's Anyways, people, take a look at these two bottles. Fuck, I don't know if you should I even zoom this shit in. Just go to your own fucking TV. It's, it's first of all, you can tell us it's a little darker. You can tell it's a little darker. Yeah. And if you look at these caps, real shiny. And if you look at this cap right here. Okay. You can see he attempted to put some fucking uh, super glue on it. Can you see what? that, people? Hold the fuck on. Yeah, why? I know you some stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm pretty stupid. See if I could zoom this in on yeah, this shit. Zoom in on it. Oh, he did? Look at that. See that little gray film yeah. around it? Yeah. yeah. See Let's this one's see shiny. Yeah, that one's shiny. Yep. See that gray film right there? Yep. You see that fucking gray film around it? Yeah, there's a gray film. <laughs> Okay, people, let me continue this shit. That's the first yes. thing. Please continue, sir. Well, first, before that, he's been talking about this shit for a fuck. Let me make sure I'm looking at me, people. You got to excuse me on this motherfucking video. Okay. You're he lied a couple weeks ago by saying he's 235 fucking pounds. Okay. <laughs> fucking lying bitch. Yeah. That was to prepare you, people. When you saw a 40-second chug, you were thinking, well, hell, he's a big guy. He's 235 pounds. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then next, suddenly this chug off is on his fucking channel. It wasn't yeah. on nobody else's. Ted okay. Barris or or this fucking guy gives out addresses or yeah or cungasm. It was on his fucking little hookup hangout bullshit. Oh, what's the other fucking thing I was gonna say? Oh, he boy. didn't want to do it on his channel. Okay, two videos. Earnshaw do it on his channel. Oh, what if Earnshaw uploads? A video from the past. Well, bitch, it's obvious. Earnshaw could just go, hey, today's Monday the 16th. I'm doing the fucking Kutbowski challenge. So he wanted on here. And as you can tell, leading up to this, people, bear with me, motherfuckers. I'm out of breath. I'm barren, but I'm damn. Sick as fuck. I got pneumonia, probably. Yeah, get to the point. When you talk, everybody fucking pops up. Okay. As you can see. All right. Watch this fucking cut. The next person who talks. Everybody pops up, cut. Yeah, yeah. You see all this? Super Conrad. Conrad when it's Jeff race time, Jeff. you know what happens? What? What happens? This little motherfucker's gonna go down here in this little ass screen, so what nobody can what see his bitch. You're doing this. The forties are in the background. I can't see yep, them. Right there. The fuck that is. Right there. When he said that, right there. Hey, what is Malt Minister doing? Everyone's eyes on the Malt Minister. What happens? This cut okay. will never be on the big screen again. Never during this fucking race oh. will this piece of shit be on the big screen. Okay. So it's just fucking coleslaw. You or remember Google, Google Hangouts, Joe? You had you had control over it, right? And you could you could enlarge and and the default thing was whoever was talking enlarged, right? Yeah. But you could yeah. change that. You could yeah enlarge whoever you wanted, or you could make yourself small so that's right. what Kunt Kunt Bowski did here he made made himself small the entire time he was chugging so nobody could see his uh... oh. <laughs> so and we also see here Malt Minister uh, who's on the big screen there was obviously a fan of the Dukes of Hazard show yeah <laughs> right yeah so okay yeah. Right. so you can uh, you can zip forward a, a little bit Joe till we get to uh, Kunt Bowski chugging Go ahead a couple minutes. Just pick a random spot. I want you to listen when this fucking cunt opens this bottle up. So he's finishing his real malt liquor. And what he does with that second bottle, thousands of pounds of guys have never been able to do a fucking second 40 under one minute. Watch how easy this comes off and listen. So the second bottle is full of water. 
<laughs> He'll show you. Now continue to watch people as he enjoys a second 40 and never fucking burps one fucking time. Mm. That's not him burping there, dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> well, he already admitted oh, the first morning he fucked Battery, motherfucker. Motherfucker's flashing. He's still chugging. Okay, he stopped pulling. Oh, now he now he's chugging again. He, he's he, oh. So the ref's running out of time here. He's only got four minutes left. Old time time. People on a second forty. All you gotta do is watch. Put that shit come about <laughs> on your fucking family. You didn't fucking cheat, bitch. You're a fucking cheating <laughs> cunt. Time to set a record. Listen to this sound. What's what sound was it? And I don't know. Did I miss something? Up. But what that, that, that sounded just like Chabowski's. Yes. I mean, am I mistaken here? What did I nope, miss? You're not mistaken. He's trying to prove a point. He says after he's done, you know, why there wasn't no foam? It was completely clear. You see the foam? See the fucking foam on it? He said why it wasn't completely clear or why there was no foam? He has no idea. He's never seen that happen before. <laughs> Atta girl. Get that medicine in you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, so he's saying that he had it open and it was flat, and that's no. He, he will reveal here. Hmm. Listen, this is great, Bum. You said we had nothing, and the MLDC just cemented themselves as being idiots. Look at them, all of them, all of them. Look at the chat, crickets. These guys. Yeah, this is. Yeah, there's no foam whatsoever in there. Bubbles. Yeah, Vegas says nobody has ever one pulled the second 40. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Crystal clear. And you know what, people? I didn't burp. It must be a miracle. No, people, let me give you the real star of the show. It's the fucking apple juice, you bitch. Oh, my <laughs> God. And whatever one of you motherfuckers believes this fucking pussy, you should fucking be ashamed of yourself. A couple of you cunts fucking know he cheated, but you'll fucking stick with your story because, oh, it's against the fucking malt liquor guys. That's why you lost because you're a cheater. Shut your shit down. And it's a good thing. I went, I meant to do this video yesterday. I was unsubbing from your bitch ass. Make another fucking channel. I'll subscribe to you. Hopefully you don't bring this fucking cheating shit, bitch. Let me, wow. Let me I, force one fucking burp that's out. That's going through oh, a lot of trouble. Crystal clear. It must be a miracle how the second one didn't foam. <laughs> Fuck you, Kumbowski, you cheating faggot. Yeah, Chubowski. Yeah. Wow. Well, that was we we don't have that problem here. We don't fake it until we make it. We just do us. I mean, what yeah. what do we think about well, this stuff? I mean, now I assure you that this is not apple juice. Yeah, <laughs> I actually think it's pretty hardcore. He drank forty ounces of apple juice. I, that's that's, a, that's yeah. a lot. Point. That Very that's true. going through a lot of trouble. I you know now, Ruben, to, to even take your point a little farther. What was more expensive, the beer or the apple juice? Oh, definitely hey, the apple juice. He spent more money on the apple juice than he did the malt liquor. <laughs> that, that spent a lot of money, uh, you know, in, in apple juice. I don't it? know what would give you the shits worse, the malt liquor or the apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Woo. That's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Please. Now, now Bum did. Did you swap out that 22 ounce? Uh... Yeah, did you put apple juice in there, Bummer? What's up? I poured out the last two ounces and poured apple juice in because I, <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> Look at you getting your vitamin C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, uh, good Lord, man. Well, yeah. that, that's a lot of trouble, isn't it, Coach? I mean, mm -hmm. to go through the. 
I mean, would you ever go through that much effort to, to just prove you could chug a beer? No, these guys are all sorts of confused, Joe. Like, th this is crazy because we don't have to front. We don't front here yeah. in the craft beer community. So, damn. <laughs> so, anyway, that was a beer. little taste of the uh, of the <laughs> malt liquor referee in action. Wow. Yeah. I mean, he was pretty I mean, hard. He, he was harsh. I mean, he was, yeah, he was on task there. I'll, I'll I'll give him a I'll give him a clap. That was yeah, pretty good catching that. He was holding him. He was holding him, holding him accountable. Yeah, he held him accountable. That was pretty good. Yeah, they, you got anything else for us, uh, Billy? No, Jean? unfortunately, that's it. I told you that was uh, they they can't all be winners. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you very much. We appreciate it, Billy. Yeah. Ho hopefully, more next week. Hey, you do the best you, you do with what they what they give you, man. Yeah. Right it's it's like a Phoenix weather forecast. I mean, there's not much. <laughs> it's not, you know. It's it's like uh, the weather forecaster on Family Guy. It's hot. Like it, you know what I'm saying? It's just that's that's the forecast, you know. Yeah, you 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 work with what you're given, and that's mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we appreciate it once again. Yeah. And uh, and also for drinking that god awful old E, man, that was uh, that's malt liquor number number eight for the year. Yeah, number eight. He's he's still rolling. So, do you, are you, do you have enough in reserve to get you through the next few weeks, Bum? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have enough to get me up to the summer. I think. Wow. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and so, uh, what do you have now, Ruben? Uh, this is a purple rice lager from... So, uh, what do you have now, Ruben? What? Can you hear me? Uh, this is a purple rice lager Who is that? from... So, uh, what do you have now, Ruben? Is that Mo? Can you hear me? Uh, this is a purple... Oh, we're getting a, we're getting a loop in there. Yeah. So, uh, what me. do you have now, Ruben? Is that Mo? <laughs> <laughs> this happened once before. I remember this. An, an endless loop. Yeah, no. yeah, it wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't me. So I think we're good now. Yeah, I think yeah. we're good. Yeah, I, I said was you. Like, no, 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 you no. asked the same question four times in a row, and I'm like, <laughs> "Are you part of the MLDC? Or are you part of us? What the hell's going on?" <laughs> right, right. So that that was a purple rice lager. Would you say? Purple? Yeah, purple rice lager from Evil Twin Brewing. Purple rice. Okay. I don't know if it's purple or not. We'll see. So they use the, the rice and instead of uh, barley? I would guess so. Yeah. So it must be a real... Uh, like a, uh, it's not purple. No, Mark, you know what? My ex is Filipino. They used to have purple rice. It's a real thing. So I think it's a play on that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah these yeah. are rice lagers. You know, real, like Sapporo. Star real starchy rice then? Well, you have uh, 319 in the last, you know, total, and then 37 okay. in the last 30 days, classified as a a, a Japanese rice lager. Okay. Um, five percent, no IBUs rated, and a 392. Very oh, wow. a collaboration with Mala Project, uh, brewed and uh, brewed with purple rice. Hmm. Okay. And hers Brucker hops to give flavors of doughy malt, subtle mm -hmm. citrus, okay. and honey, conditioned on uh, American oak. So yeah, so they must use rice instead of barley then for the uh, for the mash. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, like uh, quite a few big breweries use rice. I think Coors uses rice in their mm -hmm. recipe. You know? In the, in, in for, uh, Budweiser does. Oh, well, that that must be rice on the label. It, it like is. It is. It's just, it's the purple rice that Coach was talking about, just in a bowl. Yeah. And if you eat purple rice like normally, it, it's just a little sweeter, I think. Okay. Than, than regular rice. Does it make you, you know, drop a purple deuce? I mean, uh... I guess if you ate enough of it, if you drink a forty ounce of apple apple juice, it might. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is no lie. When I was a kid and I would drink grape juice, it would come out oh, purple. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How, how much grape juice does it take for that? Oh, no, I'm sorry. When I would drink grape juice, it would come out green. Oh. Yeah. 
How do, yeah, how do, that's right. Yeah, grape juice, green poop. That's right. Well, wow. there are green grapes. But this <laughs> this is purple grape juice, though, from purple grapes. Wow. Yeah. Purple. Huh. Huh. Uh, Okay. Bob, this is I know this is like 35 years ago, but you need to go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> well, asparagus, you know, happen, you know, when you, when you eat asparagus, it just yeah, yeah. very, very pungent uh pee. Yeah, that, right, yeah, very yeah, with asparagus, you yeah. never Woo! know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of curious now. Um that you know, the, the question would be now is uh how many people uh clean this thing? You know, how, yeah. how often do you clean your belly button? Um, how often should you clean your belly button? Is your belly button neglected? Uh, what's the what's the situation there, Mark? Um, I've got a little tiny bit of lint out of my belly button right now, but <laughs> it's pretty clean. <laughs> I, 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 I try to clean it at least once a week, you know, there's... You know, but is it is there a procedure? Is there a Q-tip involved in this clean? Yeah, I just kind of shove my finger in it and wiggle it around a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes there's some lint that comes out. And is this coach's really prom day or your belly button? Yeah. Oh! Really <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of my prom day, look at the chat. Shout out to Mandy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mandy. Yeah, maybe we should ask Mandy. Uh, you know, what's the What's the etiquette for cleaning of belly buttons, man? Um, you know, and how often does does she clean hers, or is is she uh, does she actually clean Coach's belly button? I'm kind of interested in this. What's yeah. the okay. what's the shout out to Laney and Cabri, and of course by some Maddox. Hey, so here's the deal. So and don't laugh. I'll give you the 15 second version. So first of all, when you don't wash your belly button. It smells like fermented bologna and duck butter. Number two, <laughs> Joe and Ruben. Because I'm not going to include Bum or Mark, but guys like us, how knuckle deep or how knuckle deep do we go into our belly button? Because, you know, we're not sitting right here. We can't just touch our belly button like that. We're yeah. about, yeah, we yeah. put our oh, yeah. knuckle in there. It, so wait. how many knuckle deeps are we in? Yeah. Oh, second knuckle, easy. No, it's assuming everybody has an any. What if you have an Audi? Yeah. What if you have an Audi? Yeah. Well, I mean, then you're there's no the guy club. this size that has an Audi. <laughs> 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 if if you if you have an Audi, that's that's wow, right? Like, That'd be strange. It'd probably be a tumor. I don't know. They better get checked. Nipple, isn't it? That's like a third nipple, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's. Uh, I've yeah. seen an Audi. They look like a perfect marshmallow, but skin color. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I, am I wrong? I think, I think that's 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 an untrained OBGYN is what an Audi is. <laughs> so, Ruben, uh, are, do you clean yours every day? Is this? Uh, uh, yeah, I do. You, how often? So I you? actually hit it twice in the shower. I I have some body hair, you know, so I shampoo my whole face and beard and body, and then I go around with a washcloth too. So mine's nice and clean. Ruben, we're talking about belly buttons. Oh. Belly buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's Not clean, too. Yeah, that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you, you peel the skin back and get all clean in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I don't have to deal with that problem. <laughs> <laughs> you look Jewish to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's. <laughs> so, bum. Uh, you, you know, how often do you clean a uh, belly button? Is there a procedure? Oh, I would say yeah, about maybe about once a week. I break out the coat hanger. <laughs> Oh, hardcore. Yeah, there's a coat hanger involved. See, who knew? Yeah. You know? to, to each his own. Man. Yeah, I have a, a coat hanger unbent to a special ergonomic uh, design. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Vegas says, uh, save the polar bears can sink an entire big lighter. Who? Dolly Button. He learned how in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that saved the polar bear 79. 
One of one of the uh, YTDC. And Turner says, "Are there differences? Are are there different cleaning procedures for innies and outies?" Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would think an Audi is pretty much self cleaning. I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh, YouTube has he has the. He, Twice a month, I will dip a cotton swab into an imperial stout and give the belly button a good cleaning. Afterwards, I will pour the remainder of said imperial stout into the toilet. <laughs> now, the question is, is it a barrel-aged imperial stout or not? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's higher than... Belly-aged. 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 There you go. That's what the B is for. It's a BA, but this one's a... Uh, do with what you think uh, for the BA there. Yeah. yeah that's, uh... See, this is hard-hitting stuff here, kids. You know? Hard-hitting stuff. I mean, you know, we, 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 we have in the, in, 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 the, in the recordings of this show, we have uh, figured out uh, who goes with toilet paper over and under. Um, uh, what sock you put on first uh, in the morning? Um, what what are the things that we covered there, uh, guys? What uh, we, uh, we have stuff? We, we have now talked about. Uh, we we've never talked about. Uh, have we talked about toenail trimmings? Should we talk? We should cover that in some future show there. Okay. Yeah. What, as far as what we do with them. Ah, that's in a baggie. <laughs> Do you say how long? You know, we yeah that that that's a pretty deep subject there, isn't it? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, mine mine go into a binder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people might not even use uh, clippers anymore. They might have to use some sort of head shears or something, some sort of uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, some sort of sawzall or something on them. <laughs> yeah. <So> <laughs> Some sort of belt sander on them things. I don't know. Yeah. A Dremel. They need a Dremel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a freaking Dremel, you know, and you just Ooh. you could get that like smell going. You know what yeah, I'm saying? With the right attachment, you could use the Dremel on your belly button. Oh yeah. man, I have these bad memories of my grandma like taking that like foot. Sander to to her feet, you know, and sawing that dead skin off the oh, disgusting. Yeah, the callus scraper. Yeah, those are fun. Vega says I clean mine with the Q-tip bit and a power drill. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody has a procedure for yeah, clean really. belly button. You know, these things are uh, you know all unique. You know, yeah, I, I knew it'd be an interesting subject. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and who uses theirs for dip? Anybody put salsa in that bad boy and just you know, <laughs> queso, queso in the belly button? <laughs> 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 yeah, I just, I, I just put, you know, I use mine for consomme. I, I dip my birre tacos in there yeah. and just <laughs> make a little, a little Velveeta. Come oh, on, Joe. <laughs> Joe likes tacos de fundio. Yeah, fundio. <laughs> fundio, yeah, fundio. Yeah, that's uh, you know. You For the rest yeah. of us, that's uh, butthole tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, too far. Oh. Uh, oh, ha uh, would this be Jaime or Jamie? Have you tried uh UK's? Yeah, which brew? Uh, which wood? Which wood? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Those are those are phenomenal. Yeah, and and, and Bum was telling him he has. Yeah, no, I I've, I've had uh how many how many different ones have you had from uh Witchwood? I've I've had Scarecrow and Hobgoblin. I just looked it up yeah. on Untapped. Yeah. yeah, I I think I've had Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin yeah. for sure. Yeah. That as a matter of fact, Hobgoblin. Oh no, it wasn't one of my first reviews, but I, I did I did eventually get to it. I, I think it took me a while to get Hobgoblin yeah. in my area at the time, but uh, no, it's solid beers, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, you cannot go wrong with dark English ales. Uh, Chad says I keep my 
I keep my belly button ragged. What, what raggedy, raggedy? Raggedy. It helps get me. Uh, helps get me chicks. Helps me get. Chicks. Hey, whatever works, man. Whatever hey, works. you know. Hey, you know. Doubtful, but okay. <laughs> some some people, you know, like the funk. You know, some people like the uh, dankness. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, they like a dank. Yeah. You know, it's the way it goes. So, Mark, yeah. you can't even get a knuckle in, can you? You're just like the tip of the finger, the nail. Yeah. Oh shit! I can get up to the almost to the first knuckle. I'm almost really up to the first knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It, 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 yeah. And we'll see. You know what? When you yeah, got yeah, a pencil neck. I mean, pencil necks. I mean, we're different. <laughs> yeah. You now Turner says Taco Bell needs to start selling belly button verde sauce. <laughs> yeah that's a good you know i mean it's a great place to hold your queso for your nacho fries you yeah. know the cheese sauce I mean, yeah the nacho fries especially i mean they, they they're like yeah. where they put right in the belly button yeah i mean you're good yeah i mean it's perfect you know i'm gonna throw up <laughs> <laughs> hobgoblin gold is their blonde beer very nice? Yeah, 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 yeah I like them. Yeah, the finger, <laughs> lick finger, stick finger, and belly button. Smell finger. Describe scent notes. Let's see it, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've had enough belly button talk. Actually, I think I'm. I think you're too drunk and in the wrong hole if you can get a whole fist in. <laughs> Yeah, I think Possibly. I think I'm with I'm with Jamie. That's that's Jamie. teams 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 favorite. Yeah, yeah. Getting a whole fist. Oh, in. oh yeah, team. What? Oh, don't don't start mentioning fists too much because team no. will be here in a heartbeat. Yeah. It's, He's frozen in Texas. I was gonna so. say I don't think he'll be joining tonight. No, that's true. Yeah, he he might be uh, uh, stuck to the floor in the in the garage. <laughs> yeah. Um. I, I would be kind of interested to hear. Now, you know, as of course you guys know, my family is in Dallas, and uh, they actually finally got out today and had some beef barbecue. And uh, because I think it was sixty-five there today. Yeah, so. they had they had pretty warm weather today. Everything yeah. was pretty much thawed out uh, yeah. as far as uh, they were showing me, and uh, and and <clears throat> things are kind of cooking around like normal. Um, but uh, yeah, I would imagine up there for team, there's it's probably still a, a struggle. His fist might be frozen somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and I know there's a lot of it's beef country, so there's a lot of cows in places in his fist. Oh my god, <laughs> and it might be stuck somewhere. I don't know, but uh. uh. <laughs> Nothing finer than a shot glass of good tequila out of a fat girl's belly button. Yeah, have you ever had what? What, what this is a belly button shot, right? That's a thing, isn't it? Like, uh, yeah, I've talked to Team Sister. It's been fun, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you would think that the alcohol would kill the the bacteria in her in her, in her belly button, but no. It doesn't. Yeah. That's some shit yeah. that just the government needs to get a hold of. That's some nasty stuff in there. It, it, it Mark, so does the boss have any sort of procedure for belly button cleaning? Is there any recommendations? She's she's going. <laughs> you're not. You're not dragging me in this one. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I think it's more so, Mark. Do you want to sleep on the couch tonight? Yeah. Or do you want yeah. to come upstairs? <laughs> that couch is looking mighty good. Yeah. 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 Dude, yeah it might be uh, him and Crusher on the. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. No, it's it's not. It, this is not one of those things you want to get the boss involved in. Like. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a good one. So, do we know anything about landing on Mars this, this week? Um, Anybody I, have I did not follow. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I watched I watched a little bit. There's um I watched a couple of videos on YouTube about kind of the technology in the rover and kind of what they're planning on doing, which is wild. They're actually gonna fly a drone. They're gonna try to fly a drone on Mars. They've got like a little um 
they call it a helicopter, but it's basically a drone. So they're going to try to launch launch a drone and fly it around on Mars. So that's cool. Oh. Yeah, that is kind of cool. I'm I'm just now googling it. So yeah, uh, I watched the uh, animated landing, and it's kind of cool that they had a a parachute and they came in sideways and just kind of landed right on Mars. That was kind of cool the way they did that. So. Yeah, it was interesting. They were saying that the um, the the software on the lander or whatever is like an algorithm that was had all the uh, information on the the mapping that they had done from the you know from previous. So it could pick based on where it was going. It would select the best area to land. Right, right, yeah. It's it, it was actually incredible to watch, and I kept up with mm -hmm. it for only about an hour and a half. But just to yeah. watch it was actually incredible. And then when when it landed, they started sending images back from Mars. Yeah, yeah, high so, def images. I mean, like four K stuff. Well, I, I didn't see any of that, Mark. But what I saw was Mars. You mm -hmm. know, I guess. I'm going to trust them. That's Mars, but that was incredible. That was really cool to watch. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, um, one of the first things we do is we just. Amazing. So this, this must be the, the thing that landed. Is this the robot that's on there that she's talking about now? Is that what that. Yeah. Might... The Rover is, um, it's pretty good size. It's like a golf cart size thing. I mean, it's not small. Oh, I mean, it's like five or six feet across i mean it's a good size this is the first time i'm seeing any of this i yeah. I, I heard about it but it's yeah. uh, so it I'm, I'm trying to find this little animation that coach talked about yeah so go back joe i can tell you where it's at i just saw it back yeah. to here right right there it says uh three days ago uh dramatic oh, mars right, right here there. yep that's what i watched um and i watched it live and then i saw that uh update every right there that that scale because yeah. it kind of shows you how it came in and uh it was just cool i mean i yeah. don't know yeah it's, it's maybe i'm a geek like that but it was cool yeah, to see I mean, that yeah. it, it is i mean essentially you've got a, a robot you know on a planet whatever it is 300 million miles away so it's not close and wow it, this thing yeah, kind of thing so it and then it, uh, yeah. And then I heard there was like there was only so much time for it to do this, uh, and it was, uh, and, and it had to figure out where to land and everything. And th this was all a matter of seven minutes or something like that. Yeah, yeah. When it when it entered the atmosphere, it was seven minutes between when it kind of entered the atmosphere and the one that had to land. Right. And if you're watching the NASA or Discovery Channel, they announced, "Hey, we're 21 minutes out. We're this many minutes out." So they told you, and then you need to tune in. So yeah. it was just, I don't know. I, yeah. It was incredible. What's kind of cool though. is, I guess, apparently it's got a little, um, like a little drill on it where it can go in and sample the soil uh, at different spots. So it, it does that, and then it takes those soil samples and, and analyzes it kind of in the rover, and then it puts them in a little container and drops them <clears> on the <throat> ground. And then supposedly in... The next three or four years, there's going to be another probe that comes down, picks them up, and then blasts off back to Earth. So I don't know. Well, they're going to bring back those samples. Yeah, but, they're going to, I mean, but it's going to be five or six years before we get those samples. Yeah. Right. But essentially, though, I think what we're looking at, in my opinion, and I, I'm not an expert, but I think we're looking at a dead planet. I think it's just a planet full of dirt. Unfortunately, but at the same time, if we learn anything, I guess that's kind of cool. But yeah. yeah, I watched this whole thing; it was really cool to see. And uh, yeah, well, they yeah. found ice there in the past, right? Yeah, they have found up you know, ice. There is meaning water, me meaning water, meaning potential. Yeah, potential for life possible. Yeah, and that's why they landed where they did was in a crater that was they think was an old lake or sea or something like that. So they're hoping to find evidence of fossils or something so and mars is only like what the fourth or fifth uh farthest away planet that we know of it's fourth. The next well in our, in our let me correct that in our solar system in our solar system yeah it's the next one out from us yeah so no i think there's two or three more before that is there not no Maybe earth, earth, earth then mars 
than Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn. Uranus, uh, or <laughs> NLDC, Uranus, and then Pluto. Beavis and Butthead, love it. Yeah. It, it, <clears throat> this, this, is, this is pretty cool. So this is it right here, right? That thing? Yeah. On a second ago, and it's coming in like that. Yeah, because their atmosphere is thinner, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it's way, yeah, it's like one tenth of ours or something. And it was supposedly landing in this crater, but that crater is like 30 miles wide or something, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah. But that's still a pretty narrow area oh, yeah. for them to figure out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is an animation of it landing, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is what's kind of cool. I mean, the thing is, you know, Mars is millions of miles, hundreds of millions of miles away. Okay. So it's a little robot that's going to land in a space 30 miles wide. But so they, they did it. They actually, this is yeah. real. They did it. That's so cool about the whole thing. Yeah. They did it. That's that's pretty incredible. Powered yeah. by malt liquor, the Mars rover. Not quite. The whole no. thing powered by malt liquor. Isn't that something? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you forgot Neptune, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, Neptune. Yeah, and I was about to type this, but I'll ask it. Is Pluto still officially considered a planet? Yeah, it's not, because it's, I know it's kind of a lot of uh, favored planet status, I think. <laughs> yeah, Neptune is right before Uranus, Vega. Yeah. <laughs> right before it. And and just before your belly button. Yeah. Yeah, right before you, you, you got to add the belly button between Uranus and Pluto. <laughs> So, Mark, how long is the United States going to be on Mars? Because I don't know that. I don't know. I think this thing is actually supposed to be up there a couple of years, isn't it? Yeah. No, I think the uh, the little the little power plant that they have in there it's a uh, it's a little um, energy generator. It uses some radioactive material, but apparently it can generate enough power for like 80 years. So whether that thing will actually move around for 80 years, who knows, but. The, the crazy thing though, is what if they bring back some kind of like micro microorganism or some life form of, of anything, that'd be mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. To see what the hell it's made of and how it got oh, there. So that's and... how it dropped it. Okay. So yeah. that's how it, that's, uh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's that's pretty wild. cool. And to think about and build all that stuff ahead of time, and then, yeah, it's, one thing's for sure: that uh, that takes. Yeah, you got to be pretty smart to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, but you know what? All this, what we're watching here, that still doesn't mean we landed on the moon. That part's fake. Yeah, that's true. That was all <laughs> right? a sand stage. Well, yeah. like the Holocaust, right? That never happened right. either. Right. Well, <clears throat> you know, if Malt Liquor has taught us anything. The you know all this is kind of fake anyway because these are all flat. I mean, yeah, the Earth is flat. Yeah, Mars is flat. The yeah. whole solar system is just stacked. I mean, it's like a back lot in Pasadena is what Mars is basically. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. So let, let, let me go through <clears throat> some of these comments that Vega's been posting here. Um, we fly. We can fly drones on Mars, but we can't deal with the weather. Yeah. Or viruses. Um, uh, what if there are people on Mars who watched it land and nobody believes them? <laughs> uh, you forgot Neptune, Mark. Yep. Um, Pluto has been reinstated. Yep. And uh, what is cleaning those power cells? Look that one up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, I have no idea. I have no idea about any of this stuff. Um, I wouldn't even know how to look that up, quite frankly. I, you know, I just find it intriguing. I'm a, on that, on <clears throat> when we're dealing with rocket scientists, I'm a pretty darn blatant idiot. I mean, I have no idea. I could no, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up, Joe, because uh, I watched this whole thing happen. It sounds like Mark did too. And um, it was pretty cool to watch. I was like intrigued. And then look at that, Pam. it was just really cool. Like, we're, we're going in uncharted areas. Yeah. You, you know, as as I was growing up and, and, and Mark and Bum got a couple years on me, um, it was a big deal. Now, I was born just after we landed on the moon, but mm -hmm. uh, it was a big deal. My whole life hearing about the space program. 
Um, now, I grew up definitely, and so did you, Coach, during the whole space shuttle thing. And that was a, that was a bit, just a, you know, the whole space program in general, anything to do with space was a big effing deal. I mean, just hearing about these things coming back into the atmosphere and hearing the bang, bang, as they would come into the atmosphere. I don't know if you guys experienced that, but that was part of my growing up was hearing hearing these things coming back into the atmosphere. Uh, yeah. Getting a glimpse of these things every once in a while was kind of cool growing up in L.A. at least. I don't, I don't know about everywhere else. Yeah, no, because the space shuttle landed at Edwards most of the oh. time. So it, it, it was, you guys would hear the sonic booms. Yeah, it was cool to hear those sort of things. Um, uh, you know, it, 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 and of course, you, you just always heard about the space program. And then it, it went mute for a long time. And, mm -hmm. and now we have a lot more space talk again. And a lot of this is getting going um, because of actually trade. Isn't it? I mean, you've got you've got you know cats like uh, the Tesla guy, and you've got uh, uh, the Amazon, and 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 they're out there because what what brings countries together more than space programs, right? Uh, it's it's the one thing. So they're willing to just dump tons and tons of cash in this because other countries can't necessarily afford this, and neither can they. It's a collaboration with other countries. As you see, they all come together over a space program. And while they do these things, guess what's happening, kids? Uh, nice little side agreements with, hey, well, maybe we can do some trade here and do some trade there. And maybe you can help us with this deal here and this deal here. All these big, th these big billionaires know these things, man. They got these things figured out. But in the meantime, we've got a couple more space launches happening this year, right, from what I hear. You've got uh, that one billionaire that actually is uh, sending, uh, you know, he's piloting actually that flight into orbit, not necessarily space, but out there in that part that you technically call space. Mm -hmm. And he's taking a couple other average Joes out there to do that. And then you have another another flight that's actually being piloted by an astronaut. It's funny how much stuff I don't know, but I, I feel like I'm teaching school here. And uh, and 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 that one actually is that one. That one was part of the uh, thing during the Super Bowl where they said they were giving away a space flight or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, correct. And and that one actually is going into space and being piloted by a real astronaut. Um, I don't know well, much more than that though. Our ancestors would have never thought this was possible. What's going on today? So just think about what happens. In a hundred to two hundred years, if Earth does survive, what the hell's going to happen? And we're we're going to be long gone. Yeah. But just think of the possibilities. It's 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 endless and it's it's kind of crazy because look what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. So well, I, I mean, even if we were just re release the secret alien files, we would have all yeah. the technology we would need. I mean, come on. Fifty one has all the secrets. I mean, look at the internet 20 years ago. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't even well, have to be about space. Look how far technology is advanced. Yeah. My father's 70 years old. We were FaceTiming the other day, and he said, you know, I never thought this was even possible. And it's just FaceTime on a phone. But if you yeah. think about that, when he was a kid, that was just unheard of. 10 years People ago, look. I still had dial-up. Internet. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well... Well, you've got <clears> – <throat> who's the cat from from Tesla, seriously? What's his name? Oh, Elon, Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. He does say he wants to be on Mars in just a few more years. I mean, mm -hmm. he, 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 he seems like – it seems like private is going to take us there. Private is, is going I, to – I think us. Elon Musk's already been to Mars a few times with the LSD that he's done. He's a little ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Hey, you just, you just let him go off. first. He can die before us. Let him go first. Yeah. Now, I think we really need to interview Matt Damon because he's the one that grew the potatoes. Yeah, he was there. And he, he grew potatoes on Mars 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. So. I mean, no, but that's actually one of the things they're doing on that on that rover is they've got a little prototype of some little oxygen generator thing that's supposed to take the because I guess Mars has a lot of carbon carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and it takes that and converts it to oxygen. So they're trying to figure out how that works, and then the next step is to send a bigger one up there that will then 
convert a bunch of oxygen and fill up like a rocket booster, an empty rocket booster, and have a bunch of oxygen stored for when people land on Mars. Well, that's great, but then what's the temperature on Mars, Mark? I well, mean, you know, I mean, you're not going to get, you're not going to lay out in your in your thong, but you know, <laughs> you know, how do we deal with uh, negative uh, two hundred and fifty? Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I, you're right. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get yeah. there. But so. no, I mean, it, it's interesting. They're kind of doing stuff now that, you know, maybe in the next 15, 20 years, somebody will be on Mars, you know, hopefully before I die. That's that's my hope. Hey, we've got Rui in the chat, man. How you doing, brother? Hey, uh, Rui. Good to hear from you, man. Yeah, Elon is the real Tony Shark. Yeah. Stark. Yeah, Tony he Stark. is. Yeah. So in my area, we have uh, half of baseball here. <clears throat> um, we've got uh, spring training uh, in full swing. Um, mm -hmm. they, they are reporting. And um, it sounds like we're going to have some semblance of spring training here. Well, any, any thoughts on going into this baseball season? I don't know. I They'll probably do a full season. It's just going to be a question of what part of the season has stand, uh, fans in the stands. I mean, I think that's going to be the. I've I've been told that for the time being, the Pirates are only going to allow se just season ticket holders to attend games. So, yeah, they'll get about uh, thousand per game, <laughs> which is seven hundred fifty-six season ticket holders. Yeah, the, uh, which is uh, not too Park. far away from what they've been getting the last few years, anyway. Yeah, yeah, they'll be easily able to socially distant in PNC Park. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ruiz yeah. <clears throat> says reverse. What is this? Burj Khalifa is the answer. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't know. Burj Khalifa. Hmm. He's a tech guy, so he knows a lot more than we do. That's for I sure. I know Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Yeah, whiz, right? We yeah, whisk. Yeah, I, yeah. I have no idea. Otherwise, yeah, you kind of. No, wrong. you guys know Mia Khalifa. Don't I know lie. Mia Khalifa. I know yeah, Mia. Khalifa. Boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Other than that, I, I I am all out of Khalifas. I have no idea. Joe, yeah. tonight you look up Mia. I I know that uh, you know they sometimes call Cali uh, Khalifa, right? But. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's a, a slang for California, but that's about that's about you know. I'm I'm all out of Khalifas at that point, yeah. But in any case, um, yeah, there we've got a lot more traffic here because of spring training in the Phoenix mm -hmm. area. Uh, it, it is there is a certain well, what does he say here? In regards to Martian house, in regards of Martian housing. Uh, Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world. Oh, oh, that's the one in yeah, in Dubai. That's the one in Dubai or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Just got a text from Andrew. It was a photo of him showing a meme on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reporting that bandwidth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Havana knows Mia Khalifa. That's not surprising to me. Mia Khalifa. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm looking that up as soon as the show ends. I'm looking yeah. at Mia Khalifa. Oh, no, Joe's going to make, oh, yeah, I remember her. <laughs> Yeah. No, last Mark, Thursday. Don't do it. Mark, don't do it. You will be sleeping on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting I'm getting a look from the boss. Right, yeah. Get <laughs> <laughs> you feel it's like an investment firm, boss. Yeah. Lasers firm. Right now, Double your money. Double your money. Yeah, there's a couple lasers just hitting them right now. Like, ah, it's getting God bless it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyway, thank you, guys. Appreciate it, man. Great show. We'll see you next week. Right here, man, every Saturday. 94. The countdown to 600 begins. We, we are getting within five. We're getting pretty close, man. Next week is 594, and then we're we're within we're five. Rocking and rolling. April 10th, right, Bum? Is that your calculation? April 10th, yeah. April 10th is show yeah. 600. 
Was that Easter yeah. weekend or is it the week weekend it's after? Week after, after Easter. Okay. Yeah. So I've, I've already blocked off my calendar. Nothing yeah. else will happen except show six hundred. It's two holidays in a in a row. Two two weekend yeah. holidays in a row. You got Easter and then you got show six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 600 of these things is insane to me. Just the thought of that is amazing. It's a yeah, by all rights, this show should have ended after show six. <laughs> I mean, by all rights, <laughs> by all rights, we had no, no, no reason why we should have went past 200. You know, 201 should have been us just saying goodbye. Yeah, you know, here we are, relieving people, but we're still here. We're too deep in to stop now. Let's just keep going. Yeah, I mean, I I don't even know what to say anymore, you know. But two yeah. thousand four four hundred—that's like eight more years. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, we'll all be here for that. We'll all be here. Would, would we pot? Yeah. Good God! Now that's a good God. That's good God. Oh my God! Yeah. But, oh my God! Yeah. What? <laughs> oh. Mind blown. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, if that happens, it's got to happen in person. What's a show topic at that point? Um, you know, uh, are, are we all talking about our medical problems at that point? <laughs> <laughs> now, all right, and, you know, it, are you, yeah. it, it, Mark, how was your second hit replacement? And you know, yeah. what's? I mean, that's that's what you talk about at that age, isn't it? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> right? You, the last conversation you had with anybody above. Or near 70, isn't it always uh, knee replacement? Hey, in eight years, I'll be a solid six and a half years from 70. So don't you <laughs> make me 70 before I'm 70. Yeah. Right. Now, Mark, is uh, Bum, is that a is that a, a beer chug series for malt liquor? Uh, 70, malt liquor. 70 on year 70 or I don't know. What, what would that be? Some kind of chug challenge well, we could do 70 24s before we all turn 70 <laughs> <laughs> 70 40s before we turn 70 yeah 70 40s before we turn 70 challenge yeah, yeah if we do that then we're guaranteed not to make it to 70 so and and Rui says this is my third knee and it's still not good yeah oh, see no. that <laughs> Rui knows the deal Ruri knows the deal. That's I want a refund. I, I, I got it, a 90-day return privilege. I like to return my knee, please. I just got these new teeth, and they still don't fit right. I mean, yeah. you know, that's those whole topics. And this catheter is just a pain. I need a new <laughs> one. Catheter is a pain, and and uh, you know, you just you just can't find good depends anywhere these days. Yeah, I mean, what's up with these depends? We need the malt liquor quality depends, where you can chug a forty and still. Make the depends work. I just cannot keep any kids off my lawn. That's the way that works. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you, man, right. next week. Peace out. See All right, ya. guys. See ya.